Tuesday tea with cinnamon. All right, guys. <laughs> you already know. It's Tuesday. I told you guys yesterday if you watched that video. I have an unboxing. I bought some tea from Simpson and Vale. And I featured Simpson and Vale last week as well because last year around this time matter of fact, I think it was yes they ran out of packing material and gave me the backings for their shipping labels <laughs> oh at least they're reusing it right so <laughs> I showed you guys what is this oh a catalog so that I can peruse at my convenience and a receipt fantastic wow there's a lot in here okay this is one of those catalogs that just have a really hard time with because there's too much information on the page and my brain starts to scramble I will attempt that okay I I showed you guys last week this is my first unboxing of this I haven't peeked at it. I've had it since last Friday. When I showed you guys last week, I showed you guys the National Parks gift box that I was gifted last year from a subscriber. And it had some amazing teas in it. Some teas that we have not even opened yet because we got distracted with other things. <laughs> so these are all loose leaf teas. I was looking at their website while I was filming last week's video to price out what everything cost you. And I don't think my honey sticks are in here. Oh, yeah, they are. Well, one of them are. All right. I know. There's so much going on right now. My brain is like, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> so, I showed you guys the National Parks gift box last week. And then I started looking at the website to see prices. And then I started looking at the holiday tea. And this is a whole bunch of things that have combined together. Oreo, go lay down, baby. Go lay down. Go. Go to bed. So, she's staring at me like, I don't know what you want me to do, Mom. I'm, I'm walking around the house coughing. Um, while I was looking at their website, I'm sorry, my brain is just... I saw the holiday gift set box. And this is where worlds collided. Um, Mr. Cinnamon has recently started drinking tea. Just out of the, if you hear whining, the puppy is right there. He's in his crate for safety because he is currently insane this morning. <laughs> he doesn't want to take a nap, but he's going to have to take a nap. He is fine. He just wants to go play with his sisters and be crazy. Mr. Simmons started drinking tea because he wasn't feeling good. And then he realized he kind of liked tea. So I was like, okay, some of these teas I think he would really like. And we, I'm going to try them with him. And then some of the teas I ordered because I thought they might taste good. I ordered a lot, apparently. I didn't realize these bags were so big. And I ordered... I ordered a lot. I didn't realize I ordered so much. <laughs> I ordered the holiday gift box, which is wrapped in paper. I hope the box is cute underneath, like the um, Parks one. It says holiday on there. <clears throat> it's wrapped in paper. I ordered this directly from the company, whereas the one I was gifted last year was bought through a small business or a store. <clears throat> oh yes, fantastic. Wrapping. I should probably save this for Juju for all the shipping she's been doing lately. This is the box. We got the holiday gift. Now there are black teas in here. I generally do not drink black tea. I have a hard time with caffeine. I already have my cup of water, which is probably, well... It's still kind of steamy. It's been sitting here a while. I keep getting up and down because of the dog, because of the other dog, because, <coughs> because I forgot something, like the diffuser that I'm going to need. So this has holiday teas in it. It has got a nice little sticker over the top, a seal. So I'm going to... I don't know where my scissors are. They're in a project bag. In the other, oh, my fingernails got in it. I want it to look nice. I'm gonna cut it with my fingernail. 
<laughs> Alright. So like I said, I don't generally drink black tea. I have heart condition. I can't do a lot of caffeine. And if I do a lot of caffeine, like my heart is not happy. It's just not worth it. However, I discovered that I had one cup of black tea last week. And I was okay. So I figured I could test some of these out. But also some of these flavors I got specifically for Mr. Cinnamon to try. Because they're flavors I know he is going to absolutely love. So open the gift box. This would have been so much cuter if it was like in a green holiday box. And this was like a red label. So it said black. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So you open it up and it's wrapped very beautifully. Like they take their time with these boxes. Now this box, I should probably tell you the price. It comes with lots of sampler size bags of tea. This bag, this box cost $30.95 for 10 packages of tea, which is not bad because that's about $3 and some change per little pouch. And this pouch has, it doesn't say, it doesn't say the ounces. It doesn't see how much is in here. But anyway, it's 10 flavors. This is a fantastic Christmas gift. If you have someone who likes tea, this is a fantastic Christmas gift. And now we're going to go through the flavors that are in the holiday box. These are all holiday-based flavors. So we got white chocolate peppermint. <clears throat> this one is caffeine-free. <laughs> it is organic green rooibos. Rooibos is one of my favorite teas. Like I just love it. Organic cocoa nibs, white chocolate peppermint flavoring, and organic white cornflower petals. So we're going to be trying these over the next couple of weeks because, like, I just want to. This one is also caffeine-free. It is roasted chestnut. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. It's red rooibos, orange blossoms, and roasted chestnut flavoring. I don't think I've ever had chestnuts, so I don't know if I like them or not. This one is a black tea, so it has caffeine in it, and it contains almond. This is St. Nick's. Isn't that a cute? Look at that little picture. This one has black teas, almonds, organic cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, moose tracks flavoring, and orange blossom. Isn't it moose tracks got peanut butter in it? But it says it contains almond as an allergen. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to try that one. I don't think I'm going to like this one. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I like Moose Tracks ice cream, but I also cannot process, like, my stomach doesn't deal with peanuts very well. <laughs> Even though it says there's no peanuts in there. What is Moose Tracks flavoring? Uh, I don't even know. And this one is organic candy cane. This one is caffeine-free. Organic green rooibos. Natural candy cane flavor. Organic stevia, which I'm going to have to be careful with. My stomach don't do stevia real well. Organic red and white cornflower petals. You're all right, baby. Holiday blend. Reminds me of Jingle Bells. One horse open sleigh. <laughs> this one is black tea and rooibos. Peppermint leaves, organic alfalfa leaves. So it'll be good for the cows and the horses. <laughs> Vanilla flavoring, melva blossom, Erica flowers. I don't know what an Erica flower is. And vanilla beans. This one is the Nutcracker. I should send this one to my sister. Paprika. Hey, do you mind ever so much? I know. <laughs> she collects Nutcrackers. Um, she's got a whole collection of them. I'm talking about baby Paprika. This is black tea, almond pieces, orange peel, cranberries, and flavor. Which includes cinnamon and chocolate mint. Nah, that one don't sound good either. Gingerbread. Now, I don't like gingerbread cookies or gingerbread houses, but like actual gingerbread, delicious. I used to make some mean gingerbread, and I would put like a cream cheese frosting on it, and I would give it out to like the neighbors for Christmas, but now because I can't eat gluten, I have not found a recipe that I want to make gingerbread. <laughs> Because I, I do a simple syrup and I put do the poke test and I let the simple syrup soak into the gingerbread so it's really moist and just delicious. Yeah. This one has organic. Organic China black tippy tea. 
organic cinnamon, organic cloves, organic ginger, and gingerbread flavoring. I don't know that I will like that, but I'm willing to try. Mr. Cinnamon might like that. Sugar Plum Fairy. This makes me think of Juju and my sister, both of which were ballerinas. I don't know that my sister danced in the Nutcracker, but Juju's last performance ever was the Nutcracker. She was the cutest little doll. Like, she was just up there. I just, oh my god, she was so adorable, and I will ever, forever remember that. <laughs> This is organic green rooibos, organic whole cloves, rose hips, hibiscus, sweet blackberry leaf, plum flavor, mallow blossoms, raspberry pieces, natural strawberry flavor, and vanilla beans. That sounds delicious. I mean, the cloves, I could, they could have left the cloves out. Not a big fan of cloves, but. Then we have figgy pudding. So bring us some figgy pudding and bring it right now. Green tea. Ugh, I hate green tea. Mr. Cinema will like this. He likes green tea. Currants, orange peel, figgy pudding flavoring, cinnamon, sweet blackberry leaf, raspberry pieces, and corn flowers. And last but not least, walking in a winter wonderland. Yeah, I'm just going to sing. I'm just in a mood. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, Jed. Organic green rooibos, organic cocoa nibs, organic cinnamon pieces. <coughs> Winter Wonderland flavoring, whatever that is. And blue cornflower petals, caffeine free. The puppy is whining. You're whining. I wish you guys could see him. He's doing what? What? <laughs> Mommy, let me out. So, the honey sticks I got, these are just wildflower honey sticks. Because at $50, I get free shipping, and I was 80 cents away from $50, and these were 40 cents each. So two honey sticks got me to exactly $50 on the dot to get me free shipping. So you better believe I got some honey sticks, and my kids love these. They chew off the end and suck on them, so those are for my, my kids. Because my niece is back in college, so she doesn't need one. All right, and then I got... These were all around four dollars, four and a half dollars, between four thirty-five and four eighty for these next four teas. The reason I got these is because I thought Mr. Cinnamon would love these. They, we got creme brulee bell black tea. He loves creme brulee. I like creme brulee too, just because it's like the one dessert that is gluten free. It's got black tea, creme brulee flavor, and marigold petals. I thought he might like to try that one. Um, let's see. English toffee black tea. These labels are not fancy, but black teas, English toffee flavor and marigold petals, chocolate caramel black tea. This one's for me to try because I just, I love caramel. Black tea, cocoa nibs, actually it says cacao nibs, chocolate caramel flavor and safflower petals. And last but not least, this one is the thinnest. <laughs> like, the rest of these are thick. This one's like thin. They're all two ounces though. Okay, this this actually has a descriptory on it. This extremely aromatic tea will assail your senses with the intoxicatingly sweet aroma. The brew cup is balanced and refreshing on the palate. Ingredients: rooibos, sarsaparilla root, and root beer flavoring, caffeine free. That one piqued my interest. So <laughs> now to pick a flavor that we're going to taste today before my water gets too cold. It's still steaming, so we're still good. So I kind of want to try one of the holiday ones. I wish you guys could like answer back right now and say, hey, try that one. That one sounds delicious. I kind of want to try the Sugar Plum Fairy. What do you guys think? And when I'm tasting these teas, a lot of times I don't add extra sugar because I just want to taste what the tea tastes like. And if after I'm done, ooh, that smells good already. I smell this as soon as I started to crack it. And these have like reseal resealable little things here so you can reseal it. You know, like those Ziploc thingies. This smells good. So as a reminder, this is 
Organic re Green Rooibos. Whole cloves, rose hips, hibiscus, sweet blackberry leaf, plum flavor, mallow blossoms, raspberry pieces, natural strawberry flavor, and or and some vanilla beans. I forgot a spoon because, I mean, why would I remember a spoon? I've forgotten everything else. Right, so I'm not measuring. I'm just going to throw some in. So this is the plum, sugar plum fairy. Now, I believe that you can buy these in the four ounce. I don't know. This is... Okay, this is two ounce, so I'm guessing this is one ounce, maybe. I think you can buy these in the bigger pouches. These are only four dollars, and these little ones are three dollars. So, I mean, because you're getting ten for thirty dollars, they're three dollars, <laughs> or for a dollar fifty more, you can get a big giant one. <clears throat> but that's why I like the box because you can try lots of different flavors. You're not stuck to those big flavors like that. Although, I'm really excited to try some of these teas. So we're going to let that steep. These gift boxes are so cool. I had never even heard of Simpson and Vale until I got the gift box last year. And then I have ordered, I've ordered a couple times from them because some of their flavors just sound so delicious. And so I've the service has always been good. I mean, I've I haven't had any problems that I've had to contact customer service. But like I said, I got this box for thirty dollars. I got four big giant two ounce things. They also have their teas in tins too. The tins I think are ten dollars. So if you if somebody likes the root beer a lot or whatever, you can get a tin of it for like ten bucks. Um. All of this with the two honey sticks was $50 on the dot, which means I got free shipping. This alone at my local tea shops or some of the tea shops that I have shopped at would have cost me $50 because they charge like 10 and up for these. I've seen these for like $12. So I like Simpson and Vale. And Simpson and Vale's website, I will link it It is svtea.com. So, I can hear Carrie Penny on my TV in the background. <laughs> Her video popped up, and I had work to do, so I walked off in the middle of it. That is not saying anything bad about Carrie Penny. I just, I got a lot to do today, and I forgot to turn the TV off. So, Carrie Penny is playing in the background, which is fine, because she'll get some monetary, um, she'll get monetization from me watching her video. <laughs> So, I don't have a full cup here. It doesn't smell real strong. It doesn't look real strong. I might have to go reheat the water. It's probably going to take a while to steep just because... <clears throat> my water's been sitting there for about 10 minutes now while we're talking and doing other things. Actually, no, we've been talking for 18 minutes. So, my water has cooled off for over 20 minutes. <laughs> it's probably cold. <laughs> um, this catalog... I will say there's lots of stuff on their website that's not just tea. Like they have, and I was looking through all of the gift stuff. So they have really pretty like cups and teapots and like tea um, diffusers. And they have cookies and all the glutinous things they can't eat. And they have a calendar and they, apparently they have an iced tea gift box as well. If you're into iced tea. How much is an iced tea gift box? Baby. All right, the boxes flavors are all different. All different prices depending on the flavoring. Pomegranate and orange is only three dollars and seventy cents. However, People have the audacity to walk down our street. I need to turn the alerts off because you're going to hear the alerts for my camera. Um, the mango and hibiscus is $14.25 a box. So the iced tea ranges from $3.70 to $14.25. Scarlet, stop please. Like I said, they have lots to offer. Tea diffusers. And this is not a sponsored video. 
SVT has no, Sim, excuse me, Simpson and VLT has no idea who I am, except I'm a customer. <laughs> that's, that's the end of it. They have tea, or not tea. They have honey. They have scone mixes. Like I said, they have all the glutinous things. English double cream, if that's what you put in your tea. Hot cocoa. There's so much on, like there's a lot on their website. And then the other boxes that they have. They have the Christmas box. They have a literary box which has tea based on Maya Angelou, the Bronte sisters, Jane Austen, Lewis Carroll, Charles Dickinson, Edgar Allan Poe, who is my personal favorite. I love the darkness of Edgar Allan Poe. I actually have a book in there of all of his poems. Yeah, so they got that. The row... Then they have the National Park set, which is what I have. You can also buy them in the tins. So see, you can buy the whole box or you can buy the tin. They have, what else do they have? Herbal sampler gift box. Wellness teas which have things like men's herbal tonic, lemon tonsil tamer. Hey, hey, hey. You good? I know. And then the holiday gift box, which I showed you guys. And I think they're all around. Oh, and then they have the dessert one. And the dessert one has like apple cinnamon coffee cake, baklava tea, Chocolate caramel, which I bought outright. Snickerdoodle, caramel walnut bread, blueberry cinnamon crumble. Creme brulee, English toffee. So they have lots of cool stuff that are, makes good gifts. And then it talks about the different types of teas they have. I don't really need that. I don't know if this is steeped yet or not, but we're going to taste it. You know what? This lovely label paper, which is plasticky, <laughs> will stop my desk from getting wet when I set down my diffuser so I can take a drink. You know what? You're going to make all the people feel bad for you. And they're going to think I'm a bad puppy mom. You don't want that, do you? He laid down. <laughs> I know. I love you, but you gotta calm down. When mommy is done filming, I will let you out. I promise. We can go outside and play. All right. All right. Deal. <laughs> My lovely Premier Yarns cup. Oh, I was so mad at Mr. Cinnamon the other day. Let me tell you that story. That does not have enough flavor. We're gonna dip that tea back in there. <laughs> Very mild strawberry flavors coming through. My, um, I was sent one of these a couple years ago from Premier Yarns. This is just a sticker, and this cup is fantastic. It's my favorite cup. It's big. It has a big giant handle. It fits my big fingers in there. Um, it keeps the tea hot, but it also is my favorite yarn company, right? So <coughs> they kept throwing it in the dishwasher. And the sticker melted off. So I went in there the other day. And um, I was like, Juju, where's my Premier Yarns cup? She's all, Mom, Daddy threw it. She threw her she threw her dad under the bus. <laughs> Daddy threw it in the dishwasher. And I was like, what, is it damaged? And she's all, no. I was like, don't worry, I'll yell at him later. <laughs> so <laughs> I yelled at him later. I was like, this does not go in the dishwasher. It does not go in the dishwasher. They ruined my last cup. So, as you guys can tell, I'm a little bit, my allergies are kicking my butt. It's as per usual this time of year. I know a lot of you guys were worried because I sounded bad last, sometime last week I sounded kind of off. And everybody was like, you know, you need to get tested. You need to take, make sure you take care of yourself. This is like 
a fall winter thing. This is just not going to go away. I get the sniffles really bad. I get coughing um, and other symptoms. Just I just don't feel good in the winter, which is why you guys should have seen me when I lived in Michigan. Hey, you can't eat your cage. You should have seen me in the winter time in Michigan. It was really, really bad. Um, I would get sick to the point where I'd had to be hospitalized from allergies every winter. That on top of seasonal depression, like seasonal affect disorder if you want to be proper i would i was not good in michigan like four months of winter and then like it pretty much goes from summer to winter like the fall is like minimal it's two weeks <laughs> and <coughs> so i have four months i was sick for four months every year like solid four months and here it's like a little bit for four months but like it's not hospitalization really bad because I would get where I would get really bad vertigo because my ears would get so infected like I oh it was so bad it was so bad I haven't had knock on wood I haven't had a bad ear infection since I've lived here and we moved here in 2011 I've gotten a couple of small ear infections that required like antibiotics and steroids but not to the level I had it in Michigan Michigan was really really intense I know. You're mad at mama. This is a good tea. It's not, I think I need to brew it a lot stronger. It's a very light colored tea. It has a very light sugary, not even sugary. It has a light berry flavor to it. I don't taste anything else other than berry. I think it really needs to be brewed a lot stronger. And I think I would add some blueberry honey to it. It would be perfect. Because I think the blueberry honey would just bring out the, the berry notes in that. Definitely, definitely like that. It is definitely giving me sugar plum vibes. <laughs> so I thought I would come on and... I think there was something else I wanted to show you today. But I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to let you go because we've been talking for 30 minutes about tea. It's all right though, it's Tuesday tea with cinnamon. Tuesday tea with cinnamon. And honey. <laughs> I should probably break those open and put them in my tea, but I'm gonna let the kids have them. They love tea, or honey. They love honey. Um, there's a local honey shop in downtown Culpeper. And we went in there one time. And I picked out several teas. I spent, or not teas honeys i purchased several honeys and i was talking to the guy behind the counter and i was like yeah my son something or another and he's all oh you have a little boy how old is he i was like he's i think he was seven at the time he's all why don't you take a honey stick for him pick a flavor i was like all right cool i was like yeah my kids love these he goes wait a minute you have more than one kid i was like yeah i have two and he's all why don't you take one for your other kid too I was like, all right, my daughter loves them, so that'll be good. You know, and while we're at it, why don't you and your husband take one too? So we got four free honey sticks. And at that honey shop, the honey sticks are like a dollar something. Whereas these are only 40 cents at Simpson and Vale. But my kids love them. He's trying to eat his cage. <laughs> He's going to get out. <clears throat> a little terror. Yeah. I know there's people that don't really like hearing about other people's animals. They don't care about no puppies, they don't care about no dogs, but I mean, that's my life right now. Like, taking care of kids, taking care of puppies, doing all of it, watching him trying to eat his cage. <laughs> oh, he got me this morning. He got me good. He went, um, I sat down to eat my breakfast. And normally, I keep him crated while I'm eating my breakfast because... Otherwise, he tries to get into my food. Like, he will repeatedly run at me to jump up into my face and get my food. So, for both of our sanities, I crate him while I'm eating breakfast. And while Little Man's eating breakfast, specifically because he scratches Little Man's legs all to pieces. And barks at him because he wants his food. It all takes training to get this behavior out of him. We're working on it. <laughs> but, 
I didn't create him this morning because I was trying to test him because he's doing a little better. When I tell him no and I push him down, he sits, which is good. That's progress. We're working, you know. And this morning, I opted to test him out, see how he did. There was a wrapper for a Rice Krispie Treat somewhere in the house. He found it. He grabbed it and ran out the doggy door. And I yelled, Billy, no! And I tried to get up and run to go get the... <laughs> scared him. <laughs> I went to go get the wrapper from him. And he dropped it on the porch. Okay? So I was like, cool, good. He dropped it on the porch. I ain't going to worry about the wrapper. Grab the wrapper. Go back. Sit back down. The second my butt hit the chair, he had his... He had Juju's bra. Okay? He's chewing on it and running full force towards the doggy door. And again, Billy, no! <laughs> He got that bra out the door in record speed and laid down on the porches proceeding to chew on it. His sister's fault for not putting her stuff away, okay? <laughs> Although there's laundry on the couch waiting to be folded. I'm so backed up with laundry right now. I got like 18 loads to do. So we're going to be doing that in between editing and filming today. And I, I know, it's almost done. Mama. Got the bra, came back down, sat. I still have not taken a single bite of my breakfast, mind you. Come back in, sit back down. The second my butt hit the chair, he had his food bowl in his, and I don't know how he got it through the doggy door. So it's not a small bowl. Because I, I, I get them bigger bowls because I don't want to have to keep buying bowls as they grow. He had his steel bowl through the doggy door, down the steps of the porch, and out in the yard somewhere. And I was like, you know what? That one you can have. <laughs> have I found his doggy food bowl yet? No. So I had to give him another dog food bowl to eat out of for his breakfast. Wow, administering everyone's medicine. Because mommy has to take medicine, which I don't think I took my medicine. I don't think I took my medicine. Yeah, I think I forgot. <laughs> Scarlet gets liquid medicine. Oreo gets liquid medicine and four pills in the morning, which have to be wrapped in turkey because she swallows the turkey whole. It's turkey lunch meat. She gets one slice of turkey lunch meat. I put the pills in. I wrap it up. She swallows it whole. Her pills go down. She doesn't fight me. It's magic. Um, and then she also gets liquid medicine in her dog food. So I'm doing all the things, trying to remember to take my medicine, which now that I think about it, I don't think I took my medicine. But I don't know if I took my medicine. So if I take more medicine, am I doubling up my medicine? And it's heart medicine. So you can't double up heart medicine. That's dangerous. Because <laughs> I forgot to pill up, fill up my pill thing with the little pop-up things. Yeah, I forgot to do that. So I don't know if I took it or not. I have no way of telling. I don't think I did though. So that's how my morning is going. Plus my eczema is flaring up. I have blisters forming all over my skin. It's fantastic. <laughs> but we're just going to roll with the punches today. We're going to go with the flow. I'm going to take it one moment at a time. I'm really looking forward to trying some of these teas. So Mr. Cinnamon is probably going to be in some future tea videos. I really want to try it. I want Little Man to try the root beer because he loves root beer. I don't know if he will like it, but I would love for him to try it. And I don't mind icing it for him, like making hot tea and then icing it, because I don't think he's going to eat, drink hot root beer. That sounds weird. And then the toffee and the caramel. Yeah. I think Mr. Cinnamon's going to like some of these flavors. The creme brulee, wherever I put that one. I don't know where I put it. All right, I'm going to let you go, and I will see you tomorrow. I think tomorrow is, I think Premier Yarn is going to be on Wednesday instead of Thursday this week because I'm working on something with Premier Yarns and I, I, I'm going to show you those things. And then um, I think Thursday will be Universal Yarns. And I don't know what's planned for Friday because I haven't gotten there yet. But I'm going to go because this one is mouthy. You're mouthy. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.